What is up, everyone? Justin Parnell back again with more Arena Cube because uh, it's still on Arena, so we got to play it. Hopefully, we can come with some hotness today, but uh, we got to get in the draft first. So let's do exactly that. But before we get into the games, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel to keep seeing this sweet, sweet content every week. Ready. Let's do it. Every time I click that, I think I'm going to be the person that's going to set it off, but then there's always that that last person. It really replicates real life, right? When you're trying to find a draft, and you're like, all right, we got eight people, and then you look around, the, you look around and everyone's sitting down, and then you realize it's seven people, and you're like, where is Steve? Steve was like the second person that said he was going to draft, and Steve takes another five to seven minutes in the bathroom at another table. Oh, I didn't realize you guys were ready. Anyway, that's that was Steve. All right, what are we doing this time? What are, we, what are we like? Well, I like Grey Merchant, but I don't like the concept of being mono black. So, not gonna not gonna fly here. Uh, I don't like Approach of the Second Sun, which is also not gonna fly. I do like Elite Spellbinder, Kyla, 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 Kayla's Command, not been great. I I play a lot of five color. I've never cast this card. I've never wanted to. Reality Chip. Uh, mediocre too expensive but fine i've played it before not not a bad card but not a first pick bone crusher giant i do like a bone crusher giant leaves us the most open i think it's this or elite spellbinder and i think a i think old bony bony boy is where we're gonna go this could just be anything you know we'll play it in every single deck there's not a deck we're not gonna play bone crusher giant in, unless we don't see any more red cards for the whole draft and i would say that seems unlikely Well, we do like uh, Sune's Intervention, but people draft this card really low, so I don't think we're going to take it here, even if we want to take it on the way back around. Counterspell is nice. I do like a, I do like a Counterspell. Uh, probably one of the more impactful cards in the pack. Vivian is good, but it's triple green. I really like this Vivian in particular. Halana and Elena are solid. Do a little red-green beatdown. Little red-green giant things. Uh, Explore is also very good in that deck. I think Counterspell is the best card. Actually, this might actually be the best card, but we're, we're, we're not going to take this. We'll see if we can wheel it back around. And I, I play white a lot, so I'll just take Counterspell. You know. Definitely means we would be playing blue if we want to stick with Counterspell. But Bone Crusher Giant, that can fit to any deck. A single red over a couple of turns could be anything. Could even be a boat. We got a sulfur falls here. We like a we like a old sulfur falls, ye old sulfur falls, right? And a grim lava mancer, which I personally like. I like a witch of the moors too. This is a nice little life gain thing. Life gain seems is like kind of a, a bit of a trap. Let's just take Sulfur Falls. Let's just take our mana to cast the spells that we got. This will let us at least cast uh, splash this Bone Crusher Giant and still cast our counter spell. So this is a a uh, a solid but uninspiring start. I'll put it this way. Counterspell, Bone Crusher Giant, nor Sulfur Falls are going to make it on the thumbnail of the video. <laughs> but that's how drafts go sometimes. You know, that's just how it goes. Okay. We have Gitchrog Monster, which is the opposite of what we've been doing. And a, a card that I think is also kind of a trap. You really got to be, like, getting in. Otherwise, it's just a giant thing that trades your lands in for their, for other cards. Ephemerate is good. Femrade's very, very good. Brawl, I think, is also pretty solid. I like Charter Course. Uh, multiple Choice, I'm kind of cool on. I was I was more interested in this card when it was released. But the fact that it's a source... If this was an instant, I think this card would be good. I don't even think it would be too good. Urza's Command. This is also pretty mediocre. I do like, a, I do like Krinko. I do like Krinko. Uh, this is also a fine card, even in not an aggro deck. Uh, Krinko or Ephemerate, but we're, we have red, so let's just draft Krinko. The 10 Street 
friend. Got a b bunch of blue and otherwise cards. We also have our Rogren Triome, which I probably will just take that as another land. Thassa's Intervention, solid. So, so is Salt coming, Inch Warrior Disruption. I like Poppet Stitcher too. But maybe we be maybe we be being a little bit more aggressive. We'll just take the Rogger and Chayam and solidify our blue and red mana. Den of the Bugbear. Also quite good with that. Smoldering egg I like too, but Den, Den, Den is where, where it's at. We're definitely gonna play play Den of the Bugbear with all this other stuff. Okay, if we want to go real big, we have Scholar of the Lost Troves. Uh, or a one with the multiverse. Look at all these giant things. What's going on here? Shipwreck Marsh. I think we're going to take this. Maybe we do a little Grixis action. Never know. Monastery Swift Spear versus Supreme Will. Monastery Swift Spear, I think, is, is better. Maybe we just draft Mono Red. Maybe we just get. Maybe we start getting wild, you know? Good news is, I think Mistress Command is the card I'm going to take out of this pack. Our Reality Chip doesn't seem to be the direction that we're going. I don't really want Basilisk Collar. I don't really want any of the rest of this. I'll take this Mistress Command. I'll take it. I'll take this Haughty Jin to go with our um, two instants and sorceries that are in our graveyard. Maybe it could work out. I don't really want the rest of the cards. Ooh, I like a Negate. I like Grim Lava Mancer too, but I think I like Negate. Why? No, I like Grim Love Mancer more. We'll take Grim. We'll take Grim Love Mancer. Maybe a mistake. Maybe we could be setting ourselves up for for Mono Red. We have some. We have some solid. We have some solid cards here. Let's see what we open. Fireblade Charger. Okay, that's a mono red card. In the literal and proverbial sense, we'll take this Poppet Stitcher to go with our Counter Spell and Mistress Command. Let's just, yeah, we we won't move them yet. I would say let's just assume that we're mono red. Swiftfoot Boots. You know what? Let's take this. Let's take these Swiftfoot Boots. Foundry Groundbreaker. I think this card is better than it looks. I've I've never been in a position to utilize it myself. Well, 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 well. We have some big stuff going on here. We're not going to take this. We're not going to take the world spell. I don't. I'm not a fully sure why this is in here. I don't want to take this Allrun's Epiphany, even if it is the correct choice. I really, just want more red cards. Maybe we take this Ox of Agonis and just try to force it, because that works out every time when we try to force something in this cube. And by that, I mean never. So obviously, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna draw it. We're immediately paid off by no aggressive red cards in the next pack. Not even remotely close. We have a Shivan Reef. A Hanger Backwalker is the most aggressive creature we could play in our deck. Maybe it's Nimble Obstructionist. Maybe that's the most aggressive. We're going to take the land, though. Okay. Flames of the Firebrand. Displacer Kitten is cute in both senses. Or just Impulse. Shipwreck Marsh, you can get out of here. We're not, not doing you. Let's take this Impulse. That's the card that I will most likely play in my deck. Yeah, same with this Thirst for Discovery. I actually kind of like Thirst for Discovery. We're back on we're back on blue red, just natural. Okay. Oluwara, Soaring City, that's a good card. Young Pyromancer, okay. That's a thing. Alright. 
Maybe we'll be blue-red yet. You know? Maybe we'll be blue-red yet. Eidolon is not bad. Jinkataxis we're not really into. Chandra's okay. I'm going to probably take this Eidolon. Chandra can get us back an Impulse, a Thirst for Discovery. I think Eidolon is... Our, our mana is pretty good, so we can play... We're able to play Eidolon. We have, what, five lands? This means we have 15 cards in our deck. I think all of these are main deckable. I'm going to take this Angel Fire Ignition, and perhaps we can splash it, because I think that card is actually kind of nuts. And this is really the perfect deck for it. But we got to be able to cast it. That's part part A. So Goblin Bombardment at home is not as good as Goblin Bombardment. But it's not bad, but it's it's not great. I think we'll take this Frixian Revoker, stick this in the sideboard, and see if we can work it out. No other white sources, just this Rogran Triome. Down here. Really wish you had to click on your sideboard because it, it would just come up when you're trying to gingerly go through your deck. Well, none of these cards we want. Mayhem Devil and Hardened Scales are both quite good. I actually think that that red-green guy is also pretty good, but obviously you got to be in those decks. Sure. Okay. Well, it's good that we noted that we had so many cards because we got very few on the way back. Okay, well, we got a little Chandra action. Okay. So, we're going to take Glorybringer. That is the card for this deck. We do get to draft a land on the way back. Probably won't be Steam Bits, but that means it'll be Battlefield Forge or Clifftop Retreat, which I am fine with because I would really like to play this Angel Fire Ignition so much. I'm going to put it up here just so we can try to do it. And we'll just take this Glorybringer as a, as a top end for us. A top end. Hmm. These are not, none of these are really great. I was looking to see if this brainstorm is anything but a um, a cantrip where you got to see your future a little bit. It's not, which means we probably just take this we just take this pathway here. Bankbuster. Nah, not gonna play Gigantha. Okay, sure. Just take the just take the land. If we can do this and then get a red-white land uh, on the wheel for that pack, which will, will will definitely happen, then I think that that's good. I think that that is. Uh, I think that that's solid. Blade Historian is interesting. Not as interesting as Royal. Well, it's more interesting than Royal Eruption, but it's not as good as Royal Eruption, which we're just going to take. I think if we're playing Islands, we can't play this card. So. Boo, but this is a this is an instant or sorcery for our Monastery Swift Spear and Haughty Jin and Poppet Stitcher and Chandra, I guess. Really want to pick up instants and sorcerers. I'd love to pick up a lightning bolt. We have Magda, Devilish Valet. Devilish Valet actually, actually kind of good with uh, with Krinko. It's not bad with Chandra. Maybe a young Pyromancer. Do we think that'll come back around? I want to. I want to keep making my mana better. 
I like Magda too. Magda's, I think Magda's really good, but I think uh, maybe Mutavault is the pick. No, we're going to take the pathway. We're going to be boring and take the pathway. Oh, two cards I would love to have in my deck. Battlecry Goblin can make tokens and Rabbit Battery. I think Rabbit Battery is a little tiny bit better than Battlecry Goblin. Not by a lot, not by a lot, but I think it's a little bit better. Especially when we have, like, have Krinko. Okay. Can we cast Goblin Chain Whirler? Well, I don't think we can cast anything else. So, we're going to pick it, and uh, we will see. All right. Another card we are able to splash. And, of course, as we see Bastion and Blood Artist in the same pack, the disrespect, but we'll take the showdown of the Scalds. And Retrofitter Foundry going late as usual. It's not. We're not going to take it here. We're not even going to take this Zeriel. We're going to take this Pillar of Flame. And be really boring, but, you know, eat our vegetables, yada, yada, yada. Battlefield Forge will be the pick here. I wish these two were just in different packs. wish they were in different packs. Tillerian Terror is also, like, pretty reasonable. Alright, I'll just take this. I'll take the Brainstorm, I guess. Sure. I don't know if we're going to play it, but we'll... We'll, we'll take it on a whim. Then we're going to take this other pathway. Okay. Okay. All right. There's the Devilish Valet. We're not going to take the Mutavault. I don't know that we're going to play the Devilish Valet, but we might play the Devilish Valet. Let's see. I might cut back on some of these blue cards. You know, I'll take this Battle Cry Goblin. I feel like our white cards are better than all of our blue cards. Okay. All right, let's see what we can cook up. Let's see what we can cook up in the in in deck building here. We can certainly make our mana um, better by getting getting away from some of these some of the blue. So we have no ways to shuffle our deck. I'm pretty sure. Let's just do a search for shuffle. Nothing. Okay. As such, brainstorm you got to go. Poppet Citra can make tokens, which I guess is good with devilish valet. How many instant sorcerers do we have? Seven. Well, I think Poppet Stitcher... Well... Actually, let's keep Poppet Stitcher and get rid of Haughty. Haughty Jin. And do we keep... I'm temporarily going to put in Frixion Revoker. Do we keep Counterspell? I have to cut two cards. I have to cut two cards. And we currently have seven instants and sorceries, huh? And the Papa Stitcher on the back makes all of our things three threes. I never look at the back of this card. It's all about just making the zombies. But, you know, it, it is possible to make such things. Maybe we cut the Swift Foot Boot since we have the Rabbit Battery. I think we do that. And we want to keep all of these red cards here. We want to keep all of the red cards here. Bone Crusher, Devilish Valet, we're going to try. Krinko, Chandra, Chain Whirler, which is much better now. Angel Fire Ignition, Showdown. Maybe we could just keep these blue cards and then just cut this for Ixen Revoker. But we just do that. I 
Got to Obviously, we have to add, add our special lands. Okay. So, adding in some non-mountain, some non-red producing lands. Could be a mistake. Uh, we definitely don't need more than one island. No question about that. I don't think we need more than one plains either. And I think we just go red, red. And this is going to be a blue. This is going to be a red often. This was going to be a red often. So the non the things that we have that don't produce red, one plains, one island, and the hinge gate pathway. And the Ottawara. I think that's not bad. Obviously our blue is very good. We probably could get away with even having an island in the deck. Honestly. Because, like, our really our red's not really that bad outside of Chain Whirler. Eidolon on two is notable. We're going to keep it as is. We're going to keep it as is. We're going to put our homie Angel Fire Ignition at the top here. And our sleeve is going to be something very cuddly, like this dog. That's, that's, our, that's our sleeve. Okay. All right. Let's see if this amalgamation of nonsense can work. We are on the play, and we have an Eidolon uh, on turn two. And we have half of our ability to cast Counterspell. Something to be said for that, right? Thoughtseize? Okay. We do not have an Eidolon on turn two. I imagine they're going to be taking that. Maybe they won't. Maybe they're really scared of this Pillar of Flame. Yeah, okay. They did. They took Eidolon. So, Mr's Command. Hey, that's pretty. That's a. That's actually a pretty solid draw there. Chandra, let's get in there. I think this devilish valet could be good. <laughs> I think it could. I think it. I think it actually could be pretty good. We have a couple of ways to put like multiple tokens into play in the same turn. Maze mind tome, right on. Okay. Um, showdown of scalds. Oh, baby. Look at those lands. So, we do have to miss out on um, one counter because we have to play Battlecry Goblin first. And then a count. We, so, we have to make a uh, an elemental. We have to make an elemental whenever you cast a spell this turn. Oh, it's a 12. They're, they're ramping. Getting a little ramp action. Okay. So, play Sulphur Falls. Battlecry Goblin, which we did not. So silly. So silly of me. Rabbit Battery. We'll put a counter here. Do we want to... You know, let's... I think we just attack for three. We, we, we passed up attacking for four, which we could have done. We'll find out if it matters. It, it could. It definitely could matter. Opponent cannot um, 
They can't gain life off of this before we uh, have the chance to attack them for a lethal, which is notable. I'd say that's notable. We have a counter spell, and if they if they try to cast something on our turn, the counter spell will give a plus one plus one counter. So, we have uh, two here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. Then this is seven, eight, and then it gives a counter, which is nine. And then that's another another thing, which is. 10. So. Okay. So, let's make two creatures. Get em, buddies. Uh, Pillar of Flame. We're going to put a counter here. I think we're going to bump something for one and loot this land. Uh, we don't have any creatures or planeswalkers. Okay. Just, just for one. And since it's, since it's brief... You know, we'll put a counter here. And we have a counter spell to stop, you know, a thing. Angel Fire Ignition. Love that card. All right. Are they dead? Is our opponent dead? They are dead. Okay. Hey, worked out. So far, so good. Didn't even have to cast the counter spell. The threat of it was good enough. We get to be on the play again, and we have mountains. We have red lands and red cards. So I'm not ashamed. Their creature double its power until end of turn. Okay, right on. Well, let's do some red, some red stuff. And any land will let us cast the Devilish Valet. A red land will let us cast the cast the Chain Whirler. Birth of Miletus. Okay. I mean that that will um that will throw up a blocker next turn. Okay. We'll play Fireblade Charger. Really wanted to draw a land there, but you know. Sometimes that is how it be. I'm just playing blue-white, which I do think is one of the better color combinations of the cube. And one of our few coming to play tap lands. I don't mind having some... At least the cards at the top of our curve are, are pretty good ones. Our opponent has a bunch of mana untapped, so... We are going to just attack, which means we're going to play the the chain whirler post combat. We'll take two. And I assume our opponent has a counter spell. Hopefully, it's a cheap one. Cheap counter spells are the best counter spells for us. 
Three mana would be good. That means they can't cast another 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 spell. Okay, all right. They'll go to eleven. And obviously could have a sweeper. That would put them down to ten. Time wipe. Yeah. This will deal them one. Okay. We will hit them with the valet. Oh, they got pact negation. Okay. All right, opponent has pact negation. They cannot pay for uh, the second blue. That hesitation was all that I needed to know. Now, we can't really play around that card. But uh, if they tap out for like a Teferi, you know, then we do know. Let's battle cry goblin and then give it haste. Instead of playing this poppet stitcher. Got some got some counter spells, friend. Uh, I bet that you do. I know you got one. Exclude? Okay. Really wish our Eidolon was still in play. Well, they got commit to memory, huh? Just gotta check. Just gotta check and see if they're gonna block. You never know. Sometimes you get a free damage in. Doesn't hurt. If they had like moment of craving and they they dealt this two and killed it and then gained two, I'd just probably just concede. I don't think that's in the cube, but <laughs> that was the first card that came to mind. Still feel pretty good. Uh, Ox is actually solid. We're obviously going to deploy it last, but I mean, we have five cards in our in our graveyard. I obviously, should have said nothing. <laughs> should have literally just kept my mouth shut. Yep, that's not quite enough. All right, what can they get back that's really bad for us? Ooh, Fireblade Charger. <laughs> that could be bad. Goblin Chain Whirler is obviously not great. Fireblade Charger is the worst. When that dies, it deals four to something? Jeez. Okay, there's a Memory Deluge. And they still have four mana because this only costs three. They only get to look they get to look at three cards and pick two because of how Memory Deluge works. You won't depending on how, how much mana was spent. And because of Brawl, only three mana was spent. So we know that they have pack negation. Which makes it quite tempting for me to cast this ox. Because I think that they're going to counter it. They're definitely going to counter the Glorybringer. There's no question about that. They'd counter the Glorybringer and then get to reanimate it? That seems like a good way for us to lose. I just let this resolve and then reanimate the glory bringer. I think they have pack negation. And I think that they're going to pack the big thing that I play. Let's find out. Got to risk it. Oh boy, we have we have aired. <laughs> we clearly have aired. All right. 
Let's see if we can just go wide enough. We know that they have Pack Negation. You know the worst part is the game is going to end without them casting Pack Negation, and it's just going to look like I was just a crazy person for the entirety of this game. That's what's that's what's going to happen here. Luris, okay. It's going to look like an absolute lunatic. You are going to be gone. I'm going to try to make you gone forever. I don't want you coming back to the party. Valorous Dance. Well, do they have it? Just cast back negation, please. At this point, I don't even care if I win. I just want vindication. Come on. Come on. Yes! <laughs> I knew it. Now we're going to lose, though. <laughs> <laughs> We've lost the game. <laughs> We've lost the game. Uh, but they did have pack negation. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's, uh, it's only funny. It is only funny because... Because uh, I... You know, because it's... It's the card that killed us. I mean, obviously I'm going to block with this box. <laughs> oh, man. It's just funny. It's just funny to me. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't know. One... Two, three, four, four, five, five, six, seven, eight. I'm doing a dance number. We're gonna discard this impulse. Let's see if we can find something slightly more powerful. Okay, well, let's, um... Let's kill this. Make a token. If only this... If only we could... We could, uh... Make one more. Oh, don't kill this. Chump. Chump block. Come on. We can get it to 16. Oh. That's not fun. That's not fun at all. I got Devilish Valet to 8 power. Oh, you're, you're going to cast R in the Epiphany. We ain't got time for that. I'm over here trying to work hard, be honest. Mm -mm. Okay, as expected, we have Mountain and Mountain Counterspell. In all seriousness, we have two cards we can't cast, which is Counterspell and Showdown of the Scalds. Three we can, though, and they are pretty good together. Devilish Valet plus Chandra. Makes Devil's Valet a 4-4 just off of Chandra. And if we can play another creature, 
into it, that becomes an 8-8, which is pretty solid. So we're going to keep just on the, on the strength of that. Hey, look. This can be either a blue or a white, but not both. All right. Eidolon. Fortunately, this is probably going to be a white. We have a lot of blue lands. Shake down heavy, huh? Whenever it attacks, you can do that. Okay, when it attacks. Just untap it? Untap it and remove it from combat? Might just let this dude hit me for six. Might just let him hit me for six. I think there's a non-zero chance he hits me for six. No, I, I think... Um, all right. This time, we're going to play Showdown. Kicks, huh? Okay. All right. Let's play Showdown. And not attack. And then next turn... Don't kill this devilish valet. Please. I beg of you. Uh... Yeah, we will not take six. You're gonna draw. They're gonna draw a card regardless. Don't kill this. Don't kill this valet. Don't do it. Don't don't do that. Let me let me get in. No. No. I just want one crunch. I just want one good one good crunch. I don't feel like that's too much to offer. All right. Well. Chandra provides the largest crunch. Okay, pop it, Stitcher. That could provide multiple crunches. Okay. Let's play this island. And then let's play this Chandra. All right, and then let's make two little one ones, and then double that, double that. Okay, and then let's attack. Yep, it's got trample. Start seven. We lose all these. We do have a counter spell. Okay, that's good. Fighting Chandra is really good. I like, I like, I like a fighting, fighting a Chandra. I have to remember, because I don't have anything to flashback. I have to remember to make two one ones before we cast spells. Precursor Golem. No, I don't think we're. I don't think. I don't think we're into that. I'm not. Into, I'm not into Precursor Golem. Okay, Monastery Swift Spear. That's also fine. Okay, so let's make two of these. And put a counter on one of these. And then we will attack for three. Put them two, three. And they got to kill... They could play a land and then discard four cards. Okay. Or they could just kill that. That I mean that seems pretty reasonable too. If we draw a land, we can Monastery Swift Spear plus Axe of Agonis. Or 
Let's Swift Spear. Let's play Swift Spear. Let's play Impulse. Let's see if we can just find, like, a thing to kill them. Choose one, huh? I guess, gosh. Man, Angel Fire Ignition is really good at killing. It's really good at killing. I can't cast it this turn, though. For two reasons. I tap my white... Okay. So if that's the case, and we want to cast Ox, then I think we should take the land and then play that. And then we cast Ox next turn. I'm going to kill this Swift Spear anyway. Okay. Alright. Well, we're going to... We'll play the land. Um, I'm going to go to two? No. Okay. Ah, Worm Coil Engine. Really wish they had gone to two. That would have been really that would have been a lot cooler. Alright. Gosh, how do we escape from this worm coil engine? That is the question. How do we escape from worm coil engine? Well, maybe there's not an answer. Yeah, I guess I'm not gonna start drawing cards now. Okay, I respect that. I I would have. I'm gonna be honest. I would have drawn. I would have drawn a card in like one second. I would have snapped that card off. You fight for me now. Frixian Arena. Now, how you gonna not draw a card? But you gonna play a Frixian Arena? Like let's 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 be real. All right. Trying to trade your Gix? I think it probably is, yeah. Well, I'm trying to trade our Ox. We're almost dead. We're at four. We're lower in life than they are. They're about to go to 12. No sneaky reach anywhere? Okay. They can exile the ox. That would be bad news for us. Yeah. We got a bunch of nothing. We're going to have more something next turn. Okay. Reassembling skeleton. All right. Play this mountain. All right. Take us home. Let's get these creatures out of here so they can't do anything crazy. I guess, uh, also Chandra. Okay. Ooh. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. We can bounce. We can kill this. That's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are good cards, though. Because we can bounce this. Maybe we kill the vampire? This gives us plus one, plus one. Okay. I think we killed the vampire. Uh, so, I so wish that we could make this have haste. All right. Had to kill the vampire, that was lethal. They're gonna go to ten, but you know they get their they get their best card. 
Maybe they get a thought seize. Do they already have a thought seize? They did. Maybe they have a second thought seize. They get that. Okay. They're at 10. Sap Vitality. Deal three. Okay. I will admit that's not great. If they cast another thing, maybe they can't, um... Murderous Rider? Okay. Okay, they're at eight. Yeah. Attack. Okay. Let's bounce your warm coil engine, which they cannot recast. They can recast this Murderous Rider, which is a problem. That's a 5-3? That's a big problem. Okay, the other problem is we are dead. We can do nothing. That's the main problem. Yeah. Thought maybe we... Maybe we head now. Yeah, good game. Good game. We're we're dead to their flyers. Dead to their flyers. We could play the we could play the ox, but we're dead. All right, we are on the play. This is a pretty reasonable hand. It's not, you know, not exciting by any means, but this is a hand that can win. Eidolon is a excellent, excellent follow-up play. Being able to play Chandra on three is even better. We'll take two, uh, and then we are going to make some friends and attack. Okay. We have a better removal. We can even flash the removal back. Which I think we will. We will wait. A moment to do. Yeah. Hey, these little guys are great. Let's attack like this. Yeah. What could go wrong? Pillar of Flame is a potential thing that could go wrong. Just as a heads up. Ley Line Binding? What are we binding? Chandra? Okay. In that case, we'll just go ahead and do this. Now, we will discard this mountain. Alright, she is gone. We are not, we're actually not going to play this Glory Bringer. We're going to activate Den of the Bugbear. And we're going to, we're going we're gonna to make them, we're going to make them do something. Lay down arms. That is, uh, they lay down all of their arms. All right, that was a quick one. That's a good, that's a good curve. One of our better curves. All right, I'm excited for this one because our opponent has a Lurus of the Dream Den companion. Okay? Which means two things. One, they drafted that early and built around it, which I have mad respect for. Two, this Pillar of Flame is going to is going to do the Lord's work at some point. I wish this was an instant, but it is not. It's a sorcery. All right, we're gonna play this poppy, poppy seed stitcher. 
Clarion Spirit. Okay. Well, I don't I don't want to I don't want to try to bait them. That that seems that seems a little risky. What we will do is probably kill I don't know what we're going to kill. I'm not entirely sure. Probably just kill this uh, Clarion Spirit. So I can't come back. And then we're going to kill this... Um, deal damage and then give something haste. And that's going to be for two. So we're going to deal two damage to this. And then we're going to give this haste. And we're going to get in for a bucket. Just a bucket of damage. And that zombie does die. And we got Glory Breaker coming down next turn. Now that was a that was a good turn four with old Poppet Stitcher right there. No double spell. That is what you want to see. That is definitely what you want to see. So Dancing Sword dies, which you can make it turn into a creature. I'm just going to ignore Dancing Sword. Devil's Play on the Stitcher. Okay. Well, we're just going to play Glorybringer and then just straight up attack. If they want to kill the Swift Spear, then they can. We're not going to blast anything. We're just going to attack. They can take six, go to three, then we'll play Eidolon. And let me tell you, I'm positive that Eidolon is going to be good against their deck. I'm really, really sure that Eidolon is going to be good against their deck. I really wanted to just get in, get in the damage, so... They can kill Glorybringer now. That's something they can do. I mean, they have to, but they can. Cruel Celebrant, okay. Frixian Missionary, and they cannot. All right. Another quick one. That's what we got to do. Okay, we are on the play, and we don't have a one drop, but we have a couple of good twos. Actually, we have multiple good twos. Let's keep it. I don't know what. We'll see what they're doing, whether we're going to play the um, Eidolon or our young PZ first. Green stuff, huh? Let's, let's play the young peasy first. That way we, you know, are insulated for two damage against the Eidolon. Okay. I suppose we're insulated for a little bit more than that. We'll take one. Okay. Now, this is obviously not a green card. I don't I don't think that there are any green cards. Triad, they can take a damage there. Elvish Mystic, take a damage there. Okay. Let's give this haste and then deal two. To something. Uh, we're going to deal two to this and give this haste. We'll take some damage from Eidolon. But I think I want the Eidolon to stick around, considering our hand. And if they want to trade, they can. If they want to go down to ten, they also definitely can. Hold her Gargaroth. 
that's a good reason. I will say that is a good that is a good reason. That's a good reason to um to be at a, a higher life total. Okay. Well, in that case, we're just gonna cast this Bone Crusher Giant. Or to not be at a higher life total, so you can play this this make sure you can play this Gargroth. I don't know what Dryad had to do with that. Auron's Epiphany. Okay. Okay. I guess they had blue blue, even though they had Dryad. Draw a card. Well. You know what? We'll take some trample damage. If they're taking another turn, let's keep the pressure on them with Eidolon. Uh-oh. That's bad news. That's very bad news. All right. This has got Trample, of course. Uh... Counter on each creature you control. It doesn't matter if they're green. Why is the green one so much better than all the rest of them? It's it's honestly it's like it's wild to me that that's the case. All right, I think we're just gonna lose to this defiler. Well, we, well, we lost Allrin's Epiphany. I don't, I don't want to suggest that that was, like, perhaps not the case. Okay. Okay. Did they pay two life, or did they not pay two life? Does this make us die immediately? All right. Good game. Yeah. Silly card. That is a silly, silly, silly card. Well, this was our deck. We never got to cast Angel Fire Ignition. I really wanted to ride on the Flaming Heron, and we didn't get to. Uh, and for that, I am sorry to the viewers. I'm sorry to my deck. Most of all, I'm sorry to myself for not having the chance to do so. Seems like we obviously shouldn't have been playing blue. They didn't really add a lot. We did get to do that cool thing with Poppet Stitcher. Showdown of Scalds is obviously very good, but yeah, we uh, the deck just was it was too much of a mishmash. We didn't end up uh, in mono red quite quite quick enough to take advantage, and that's what hurt us. Uh, we we got a couple more drafts left before Arena Cube goes away, so maybe next time we will have a chance to improve on this archetype thank you all so so much for watching and continue to support the channel uh make sure to obviously drop a like on your way down to commenting about the video tell me what you would have done differently what you like about the you know this deck or this archetype anything that you have any thoughts that you have about the cube and of course subscribe to this channel to make sure you don't miss any other cube action historic brawl Gladiator, Commander, all the best singleton formats that Magic has to offer. Make sure to check out my social media, which is right here, uh, that you can follow me on and, and make sure that you know what I am up to across all different platforms. And again, thank you all so, so much for watching. I'm Justin Parnell, and we'll catch you next time.